Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Vân and today I'm going to teach you how to make Vietnamese coffee. For me, making Vietnamese coffee is like creating art. It's not too difficult, but it requires patience and passion in there. So first off, to make Vietnamese coffee, of course you need ground coffee. My recommendation is to use Chung Nguyen coffee or you can use the Du Monde coffee that you can find in the most Asian or Vietnamese market. Those are the best to make Vietnamese coffee. Okay, so the second tool that we need to make Vietnamese coffee is the coffee filter. And in Vietnamese, we call it Fin. And as you guys can see, it has a plate that it can filter the coffee, the coffee chamber. And inside it has a little top that you can press the coffee when you fill uh, the chamber with the coffee. And the cap. Last but not least, we use condensed milk to make the coffee sweet. It brings out the flavor. You know why we use condensed milk? Is because in the past, milk was very scarce and very expensive. That's why Vietnamese people substitute milk with the condensed milk so we can use it multiple times for our coffee. And Vietnamese people usually make this condensed milk in a can. And of course, you can get a can of condensed milk everywhere in Walmart, Meijer, uh, any supermarket. But nowadays, we made it in a tube. It's like looks like a toothpaste, right? <laughs> but yeah, we can use this one as well. I usually rinse the fin filter and the cup with hot boiling water so that they can be preheat and clean. I use two tablespoons of condensed milk, but you can adjust it depending on your preference. Don't forget to take out the removable piece before adding the coffee. Measure three teaspoons of ground coffee and distribute it evenly into the filter. Place the coffee chamber on the filter plate and insert the removable piece back. Pour just a little bit of hot boiling water so the coffee can bloom. After 20 seconds, you can add more water, about two-thirds of the coffee filter. And don't forget to put the lid on. So the coffee is dripping, we just have to wait for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we'll have a delicious cup of coffee. Waiting for the coffee to slowly drip allows me to take a step back from the hustle and bustle of the city and truly enjoy the present moment. Every country I go, I notice the way people drink coffee because it tells a lot about their lifestyle and the culture stories. It smells so good, guys. All right, guys, so there's a rooster. <laughs> like now it's like 3 p.m. Okay guys, so it looks like it's done. Now I'm just gonna remove the lid and be careful when you remove the lid, okay? Because it might be hot. Yep, it's done. And now I'm gonna use the spoon to mix it up. And then it will turn into this dark brown color like this. And I wish um, social media has the smell button because it smells so good. Hey guys, so here's the result. As you guys can see, it turns into a dark brown color uh, mixed with condensed milk and strong and bold coffee. And the way I drink Vietnamese coffee is that I grab myself a cup of ice and then just pour over the hot coffee because I just want to enjoy it cold, but you can certainly drink it like this. It's pretty hot, so be careful. There you go. Cheers. I'm just gonna mix it real quick one last time. All right, cheers. Mm. Wow. I love the strong, sweet, and nutty flavor of the Robusta coffee. So delicious. Since we hit more than 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel this week, I decided to give away a Vietnamese coffee filter with authentic Vietnamese grau coffee. Please check the link in the description box below so you know how to enter to win. I hope this video is helpful for you and if it is, 
don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video so everyone knows how to make Vietnamese coffee. Alright everyone, stay strong and bold, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!